Hello everyone! Welcome to the first tutorial of creating the head for a 2D character in Blender 2.83. In today's tutorial we are creating grease pencil objects, which further we will bind to bones. I had already prepared the reference. The link to the Blender file with reference is attached in the description of the video, so you can download it and repeat all actions, which will be shown in this tutorial. Before we get started, I highly recommend to install the Bone Layer Manager add-on. This add-on will add the Bone Layer tab in end panel, which visually is more user-friendly than default layers menu, because you can give a specific name to each layer. The link to the add-on webpage is attached in the description of the video. If you want it for free, of course you want it for free. Just enter zero to the price field and click on the purchase button. Now you need to enter your email to the email field, then click on the get button. Check your email box, because you should get the email with the link to download the add-on. After you got the add-on, open preferences and choose the add-on step. Then click on the install button. Open the folder where the Bone Layer Manager is located and choose the add-on. Enter the name of the add-on to the third field. Activate the checkbox. Don't forget to save preferences to display bone layers in the end panel by default. In the object mode, press Shift A. In the context menu, choose Grease Pencil Blank. That's how we created a new empty grease pencil object where we are going to draw. Let's organize it within collection and assign the name Head Main. In this object, we will draw the facial counter. Also, I recommend to assign the same name in the below field because this name is displayed in DOP sheet. Click on the Material tab and create new materials. We will assign the specific color to each material. Name the first material as Headline. This means that we use this material to draw the counter of the head. Pick the color on the palette, create the second material. We will fill the face with the color of this material. Name it as Head Ink. Now we need to disable the stroke checkbox. Because we don't want to draw shapes with counter using this material. Instead, we turn on the field checkbox. Then we pick the color for this material. After we created materials, we can go to the grease pencil tab to create layers. Let's create the new layer and assign it the name headline to know that layer is related to head counter. The second created layer, named head ink, is related to head fill. The headline layer should be upper the head ink in the layers list. Pick the brush settings by your own choice, or you can use the same settings which I use. Draw the head counter focusing on the reference. Be sure that you are drawing at the relevant layer headline. In the sculpt mode, smooth the counter line using the smooth tool. Switch back to the draw mode, select the headline material and fill the face on the related layer. Create the new layer for mouth wrinkles. We will use the same material which we used for face counter. Select the brush and start to draw. We start to draw the wrinkle line beyond the face shape, specifically to have reserve while head turn simulation. Parts of the wrinkle line which lie beyond the face shape we will hide further using mask layers. Switch to the sculpt mode to correct the line thickness using the thickness tool. This tool increases the line thickness by default. If we want to reduce the thickness, we should use this tool holding Ctrl key. Let's create the new layer specifically for the eyebrow wrinkles. These wrinkles will be drawn the same way as a mouth wrinkle. Create the layers 
where we will draw elements of the mouth. These layers include mouth, teeth, lips line, lip sync. Now we need to create new materials for the mouth. Three materials are used for filling shapes and one material is stroke and using to draw the lips counter. Let's start the drawing. Pay attention that all drawings should be done in the zero frame. We draw the lips counter focusing on the reference. In the sculpt mode we can correct the thickness of the lips line. We did the same operation earlier with the mouth wrinkles. After we drew the lips counter we can change its color. Open the settings of the lips line material and pick another color on the palette. Pay attention, if we use the same material for the several layers, for example headline and lips line. In the case when we decided to change the headline color, we automatically change the lips line color too. In such cases we need to use different materials for each layers. So, you should determine all colors in advance and decide where you can use the same material for several layers and where you can't. Well, in the meantime, we have created the material for the lips in layer. Let's fill the lips with this material. Select the layer related to mouth wrinkles and Activate the mask checkbox below. Add the masking layers, they are headline and head ink. Same actions repeat to all layers in the list excepting the brow wrinkle layer and both masking layers headline and head ink. If we select all parts related to mouth in edit mode and begin to move them, we will see that these parts Arm display beyond the face shape. This is exactly what we need. So, the main part of the head has drawn. Therefore, we go to the object mode, press Shift A and create a new grease pencil object. Assign the name nose for it because we are going to draw the nose. Duplicate the name to the field below. Let's create materials. We are going to use the materials which we have created before. They are ink and line of the head. For the nostril fill we will use the mouse ink material because both objects are just a black field shapes. Next, create grease pencil layers for the nose line and the nose ink. Do it in the same way as you did for the head. Since I already shown you how to do it, I'm setting on fast forward in order to fit in speaking time. But long story short, I created layers for fill and counter, performed the drawing with the relevant materials, then I switched to sculpt mode to smooth the counter. Also pay attention that the line layer is above the ink layer in the layers list. We have created the third layer for nostril. We will draw the nostril with the black colored fill material. We draw the nostril a little bit beyond the nose shape. It's ok because we apply a mask for the nostril layer. For this we activate the mask checkbox and select nose line and nose ink as a mask layers. All is done by analogy with the mouth elements masking. Next, switch to the object mode and move the nose object a little bit forward by Y axis. That is done to prevent the merging between nose and face objects after binding them to the armature. Further, we will do the same thing with another face objects such as eyes, brows, ears, etc. Time to draw the eyes and we start from the left. 
In the object mode, press Shift A and create the new grease pencil object. Name it as I left. Don't forget to duplicate the name to the field below. Next, we are proceeding in accordance with familiar algorithm. Import materials for eyeballs and pupils. In our case, we will use the same materials as for teeth, white ink and mouth, black ink. Also, we create the new material for pupils. We set a brown fill for it. Then we create grease pencil layers. They are eye ink and pupil ink. Select the white fill material and draw the eye shape on the eye ink layer. Then draw the pupil on the accordion layer using the related materials. Use circle tool holding shift to draw a perfect circle. Switch to the edit mode and select pupils vertices. Set the pupil to the center of the eye. Draw the inner circle for the pupil using a black field material. Create the new grease pencil layer for the glare. Draw the glare using a white field material. Set the value of the layer opacity on 0.25. After drawing all eyes components, select the pupil ink layer and activate the mask checkbox. Add the eye ink layer as a masking layer. Repeat these actions for the pupil bleak layer because we need to apply a mask for the glare since the glare is a part of the pupil. Switch to the object mode and select the eye object. Press Shift D to duplicate the object, then press Ctrl M X to mirror the new object by X axis. Align the right eye by the reference, click on the object tab, select the set origin, then origin to 3D cursor, change the object name, adding index R instead of L. Don't forget to duplicate the name to the field below. Grease pencil layers and materials have already duplicated. They are appropriate, so we don't need to change them. Switch to the object mode and select both eyes. Move them a little bit forward by Y axis. I just realized that I forgot to draw one element in the head main object. So we need to select the head main and create the new layer. Name it as shades. We need this layer to draw the shades of backs under your eyes. The area for these shades is drawn on the reference. Use the black field material to draw the shades. Set opacity of this layer on 0.45. Activate the mask checkbox. Add headline and head ink as masking layer. Let's draw the eyelids. In the object mode, press Shift A and create a new grease pencil object. Name the object as eyelid upper dot L because we started from the left. Duplicate this name to the field below. Now we need to add materials. We will use three materials for the eyelids. Two of them we created earlier for the head. They are head ink and headline. The third material was created earlier too. This is a black field material. Create the grease pencil layers for the eyelids. Disable the visibility of the head object. Draw the eyelid focusing on the reference lines. Use the relevant materials for the drawing. We draw using the fill material because the contour will drawn only in the side where eyes is closed. After we drew the eyelid, switch to the sculpt mode to smooth the shape. Now we need to draw the eyelid line 
we draw the contouring the line of contact with the lower eyelid. Switch to the sculpt mode to adjust the thickness of the contour using the thickness tool. Now we need to draw the eyelid shade. We need to set the color which is similar to the color of the back under the eye. For this we use the separate layer. We draw the shade using black field material. We use black color and draw a little bit beyond the eyelid shape. It is ok because we will change opacity and set masking layers. As we look back we can understand that we didn't need the separate layer for the shades. We could create the eyelid ink material using the color of the bag under the eye. So we could use only two materials. But what's done is done. This won't be a problem. Let's enable the visibility of head and eye objects. In the object mode move the eyelid before the eye by Y axis. The eyelid should overlap the eye object but in the same time be located behind the nose object. Select the eyelid object and press Shift D to duplicate it. Press Ctrl M X to mirror this object by X axis. Align this object with the reference. Correct the name of the new eyelid. Change index. L to R. Select the right eyelid and press Shift D to duplicate it. Press Ctrl M Z to mirror it by Z axis. Place the lower eyelid under the upper, but do not close the eye. Further, we will create a rig for the eyelids. That rig will allow us to close eyes. Click on the object tab, select set origin, then origin to 3D cursor. Do it for both upper and lower right eyelids. Name the object of the lower eyelid as eyelid lower dot r. Duplicate this object and mirror it by x axis, aligned by reference and set origin point to 3D cursor. Change index r to L in the name of the object. Perfect, we have done with eyelids. Since our character currently looks like Marilyn Manson after chemotherapy, we better draw eyebrows and hair. But we will do this in the second part of tutorial next time, cause I'm falling behind schedule. So far we learned how to use grease pencil tools for drawing the 2D character. Remember that I linked Blender file with reference to description of the video, so you can download it anytime and repeat all actions from the video. Subscribe in order not to miss next lessons, ask your questions in the comment section and until next exciting time! Bye bye! Bye-bye!